Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 back with another kicking movie reaction review. Today we are looking at Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. Last time we reviewed Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet, and today we are reviewing pretty much the same exact movie. It actually is the same exact movie. Except, because if you watched the last review, which I recommend you do, we talked about Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. I'm going to give you a read-up for that right now. A spaceship orbits the planet Venus, piloted by astronaut Marcia. On the surface, two fellow astronauts and a robot companion set out on a voyage of exploration, observed by a far by Professor Hartman. First, they are attacked by prehistoric creatures and then lose their robot in a massive volcanic eruption that consumes the planet. Here's the read-up for Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. A group of astronauts attempts to rescue a party stranded on the surface of Venus. Happened in the last one. In the process, they encounter numerous perils, including distinctly unfriendly prehistoric monsters. Happened in the last one. Their misadventures are watched by afar by a group of telepathic alien women who worship a pterosaur named Terra. And a pterosaur was worshipped in the last one as well. And there were Venuvian women. And it all took place on Venus. And blah, 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 blah. So why are they so similar? Because they are the same movie. Like it's the same footage. Except Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women has footage of the Venuvian women spliced into it so you get their side of the story. Some of you might think, oh, that's interesting. Instead of rewatching this movie, I can just rewatch this instead and get a slightly different story. I guess, but it really takes away from the story. Because... In Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet, the whole time you're wondering, oh, is there really intelligent life on Venus? Oh, it seems like there used to be, but I don't know anymore. It's such a hostile environment. How could it survive? And at the end, at the very, very end, you find out, but they kind of still keep it very secretive. And it was a really good ending. I thought Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet had a great ending, but Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women, you see the women for half the film, so the ending doesn't matter. The ending has no punch to it because you already know the answer. And it just sucks. It's starring Mamie Van Doren, Mary Marr, Paige Lee. They play some of the uh, Venuvian women that were added to the film. I feel like they were almost just added to make it a little more sexy or something. It honestly just... it didn't work for me. This one's from 1968, but Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet is from 1965. So three years later they just did this? Why? Why? I would understand if this was just like a different edit of Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. And that's exactly what it is. But it's they try to pass it off as a completely different film. And it's not. It's literally the same movie, just with more footage. I just... And it's, and it's footage that makes the movie worse. Like the Suicide, you know the Suicide Squad extended cut? How it actually makes the movie worse? This is like that. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, Voyage of the Prehistoric Planet's not a very good film. I think it has a good ending, but not a very good film. But this film's just straight-up garbage. Don't watch Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. I don't even recommend it to my usual audience of people who love cheesy films like this. Just watch Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. Do not watch Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. So that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I don't know what I'm reviewing next time. I might review Kong Island, but I might also review The Incredible Petrified World. Uh, it just depends on which disc I want to watch next in this uh, 50 movie sci-fi set. Yes, that was Gamera. So that's it. Thank you all once again. Support us on Patreon, and I'll see you all next time.